Okay, I have the Anchor Infinity K here, um, and from what I understand, the Anchor Infinity is like this as well, but the K has an extra little magnetic element. You can actually, um, when gutting, you can get to it through this little plastic plug here. And um, on top of that has six uh, pins up top, and all of those are spooled. However, I must say, I barely notice the spools in this thing. Um, and um, to deal with this, I found that picking it counterclockwise, you deal with the magnet first, versus clockwise, you deal with it somewhere, I think, towards the end. And it's easy to get it out the way first because you, the way we're dealing with it, you could knock the magnet out of the way while you're picking, um, and you don't want any tension on that magnetic pin. Otherwise, you won't be able to probably set the magnet. So in any case, um, I have a little magnet here attached to the uh, the key. So I'm going to use this. I think this is a two millimeter uh, diameter by one millimeter thickness. And I'm having a real hard time picking it up here off the key. I have lotion on my fingers and it's uh, every time I pick it up it slips right back off. Alright, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the side of a of a pick here. And I want to make sure that this is centered so there's no tension on the um, on the magnetic pin and the magnetic pins on the left there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here. Now I'm being quiet because I kind of want to listen for when that magnet magnet sets. But you know, you just put it there. Even if you bring the magnet out with you, um, what you can do, because I put tension on after I thought I set the magnet, you can go and you can feel if anything's binding. If it's not, then you didn't get it properly. Then you can just go back in again and try to position that magnet in there and then put tension on. And again, the magnet came out, so it probably is not going to work. Check again. I bet it's not going to be set properly. Uh, no. And then, all right, so let's put this a little bit further up on the, the pick like that. Center it again. Get this in there. I think I just wasn't putting it close enough to the left side of the of the lock. Come on. It's usually not this hard. I'm wondering if I have the magnet backwards or something. Let's see. Yeah, I think I have the magnet backwards. So what I was probably doing is I was probably um, I was probably pushing the magnet out when I need to be pulling it in. So make sure you get the polarity right. If you have it on your key like this, you want to get the um, the pick on the other side. You want so that's upside down. And what I did is I marked this with a with a sharpie to show which way to put it in, but that that sense rubbed off, so <laughs> it didn't stay on very well on the. I guess nickel finish or whatever it is. So let's try this now. Oh, and there it stayed in there. So that's already a more promising size sign. And I don't know what that happens with the, the tensioner. But now I'm just feeling. Yeah, I got I got a binder here. So now that we got a binder, we'll go ahead and pick this like a normal lock. And you can reach, even though this um, keyway is kind of intimidating, which I'll show you afterwards. And you see the, the magnet came out, but we kind of don't need it anymore because we're under tension at this point. Um, but there, like I said, everything spools in here. And even though you counter rotate to set a spool, um, it's never seeming far enough to reset that magnet. So right now I'm just going to go through here. Oh, I was mentioning the keyway looks pretty intimidating. I'm just feeling for binders and then lifting them. I don't even know which pin I'm on. Uh, the keyway looks intimidating, but there's a, a clear channel to go up and down right here with um, any size pick, or you can go off this top right ledge with even a 25 thousandths pick. So um, it's pretty pretty open. And then there's a binder here. I think this is like pin three or four. Go to the back. Let's see. I think that's six. Five there. Gave a little click. Six is loose, it seems. 
I think this is four here. Four, I think you would click there. After a lot of travel, three, I think, just went up. Something here at the front. Loose, loose, go to the back again. Sound like something dropped when I push up on. So a lot of times I'm pushing up on a spool and then it's going up and setting, but because it, it it causes something else to drop, no big deal. Just if it's binding, set it like that. If it's jiggling, don't push it. So I got a binder all the way back there. I got some, I got some plug rotation, and I'm gonna notice that more and more as more and more of the spools get set. I think there was something binding towards the back. Let's see. Six here. I think that's just the picks slipping off. It does feel like this one here towards the back is binding. There we go, and we're open. So, like I said, this, you didn't really see me counter-rotating anything for the spools. They just kind of clicked out almost like serrated out of their, um, out of their place. I think this because there's so many and they're like staggered that mm, they don't, they're not super effective or something. So, um, we'll show this in action. It's open up, locked, and unlocked like that. And we'll go ahead and gut this. Put that magnet over there. I can show the magnet in action after as well. So in gutting this, um, let's get the autofocus on. You'll want the key. First, we'll take off this clip on the back here. Oops, I just had it. And this is probably going to go flying, so catch it. So there's that clip. Uh, the magnet's on this side, so just to be safe, I'll move it away from the Bible. It really doesn't, it's, it's not really an issue, but, you know, always good to take precautions. Follow it out, and you don't even, as long as you have the key in, you don't have to hold the magnet, which is right here. If you take the key out, the magnet will go loose. You see that? And I've never actually taken the magnet out, so we'll, we'll get to see that today. Um, so one, two, three four, five, six, three fell off here. And we'll take a look at the magnet in a second after we get these. And these spools, I don't know if they're supposed to be like this or if a previous picker just got the order flipped. So I'm gonna face them towards the key pin the way that they're oriented in here. And I maintained the orientation when I gutted it before. But here we can see a spool where the spool is not centered, right? It's towards the towards the key pin. And later on, we're gonna see more like that, but the where the spool is facing towards the, where the slot is facing towards the, um, the Bible. So that's another one where it's facing towards the key pin. Here's one where it's facing towards the, um, the Bible. Here's just a short one that's in the middle. And here's another one where it's facing towards the the Bible. Where like the short end is towards the Bible. All the springs in here are the same, so I'll just dump them. And then the last thing to take a look at is the is the magnet. So the magnet, um, there's a hole here for the magnet to to get stuck, right? And there's a little plastic uh, bobbin here. I thought it could just pop out, but maybe it does, but it's not important. There's a, basically a hole there for the magnet to bind. And if you're not pulling down on the magnet with the key, then it's going to stick out some like, like that. And that's gonna stop the, uh, you know, that's gonna stop in that, that hole there. So let's take this magnet out. Let's see what we got. Okay, so there's the spring. I'm guessing the spring is going to be very light. Yeah, it's pretty, sorry. It's a pretty light spring, and you can see there's the magnet inside this pin here. And that magnet's going to pull onto this key, like that. So that's going to, sorry, it's going to pull it inward away from that hole. 
the chamber. What is this? This is, uh, I think it's just maybe extension to make it into a, a longer format or something like that. Come off? Yeah, it comes off. That's it. There's no, I don't think there's any, nothing special in here. Nothing special in here. Yeah. Um, obviously nothing special in there. We'll take a closer look at these pins. So here's what I mean. This one, this one here, the short end is facing towards the spring. Whereas this one here, the short end is facing towards the key pin. I don't know why it's like that. And then there's two of them that are like this short. Nothing special on the key pins. So that is the Anchor Infinity K. And there's that last bit. Thanks everyone. Bye.